Okay, welcome back to KC's beer room. It's another cooking with KC. Um, so we'll be cooking a, another staple food that you could just get out of your pantry. Uh, so in this one, we're going to be making a cheese omelet. It's pretty simple. All you need for this is, well, I'm gonna use two eggs, some grated cheese, some sliced up or diced up onion, which I put some olive oil in, uh, some cherry tomatoes, however many you want, and a bit of parsley, and a bit of dried up chili. So, normally you'd put, with an omelette, the eggs and a bit of water, but we're going to be using this beer. This beer is from the local brewery, which I think is down in Clifton Hills, which is in Victoria somewhere. If you want to have a look at there, go to www.localbrewing.co and you'll see everything you can about them. This one's a raspberry milk stout. They say our silky and milky stout will send ripples of enjoyment to your taste buds. Indulge yourself in this velvety blanket of berry bliss that has chocolate and vanilla to round it out. So that sounds delicious to go into an omelette. It's a red velvet milk stout, four and a half percent alcohol. And look at that trendy, trendy looking can. It's a bit 70s, a bit LSD trippy design on that. So we'll crack this beer open. Yeah, not too much smell happening there. Bit berryish. We'll get these onions in. Get that happening. So, I haven't used that much onion. I probably just got one onion and sliced it about three times and then just diced that up. And that was it. So it was only for one person. So you don't really need that much. We've got that happening. You can put whatever else you want in there. If you've got mushrooms, bit of leftover meat, chicken, whatever. So, we'll get these eggs out. Just remove this parsley. I'm gonna use a bit of that as well. Not very organized here. We'll just chuck those tomatoes in. Right, let's just quickly move along. We'll get this beer into the glass so you can have a look at it. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful dark stout. Hopefully she'll smell a bit more in the glass. That looks perfect. I'm just going to take my obligatory photo. So leave it a smell. Honestly, I can't really smell too much happening in that. We'll give it a quick taste. Well, you can taste those malts, the roasted malts. It's a very light body for a stout. I'm just gonna crack these eggs open into this beautiful schooner glass. Oh, not a schooner glass, what do you call it? I don't know what you'd call that. Can't remember. Anyway, we'll just give that a bit of a roll. Just like that. Turn that down because it's starting to burn. This gas mate portable cooker, it sort of only has one temperature, and like the, the level of high to low, it's always just seems to be on high. But anyway, so we'll just pour this in. That looks bloody disgusting, but anyway, we'll just give it a crank back up again. 
So it's a raspberry velvet milk stout. Something sticky on the can. It is smooth. There is a subtle raspberryness to it. Not much of a chocolate, but you can definitely taste the raspberry in that. So they also say on this can here, while well, this is just sort of cooking away, drink a local, make a difference. Every pack equals one meal. Proudly supporting second bite, ending waste, ending hunger. So I imagine that they're using, um, for that, that charity is, like set food that won't sell in the supermarkets and stuff. They'll come around and collect it. Um, maybe some money from this brewery every time you buy a carton or a can or whatever goes towards that. So that's a good thing. some grated cheese that you get. Start whacking that in. Just put a bit in, sprinkle it around. Be generous. Everyone loves cheese. There we go. Get that in there. Okay. Get myself organised here. Right so the last time with Cricket Sign against the West Indies, I had a look. Um, Australia won one for a thousand. Maybe not that much, but anyway. We're going okay. I think Warner got out. But Kawaja had hit a 50 and uh, Manus Labashay was going good. So now what you want to do... You just want to fold this, fold it over on top of itself. There we go, like that. Push it over. And then we want to push it back a bit and get this side and roll it up. Mate, I don't know about this. It's not looking too good, but it might taste good. So what we're making is a red velvet milk stout omelette with tomato, onion, um, chilli. We'll try, I'll just bring this down here so I can give it a... Bit of a stir around. There we go. That's what it's looking like so far. It's looking like a dog's eye. But she's gonna be good. She will be good. I'm promising you that's gonna taste excellent with that red milk, red velvet milk stout. So if you haven't already Go and check out my last video, it was uh, Cooper's Dry. Uh, we did a skull, we used the beer bong or the funnel to skull the beer down, so that was a bit of fun. Uh, don't forget, if you like this, hit the thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button. And if you're really feeling up to it, go ahead and share it. Now, I'm just gonna get another plate. Hopefully I've got another one in here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we're going to have to improvise here to move this off. We'll put that over here. Okay, so let's serve this up so we're not wasting all your time. Turn this off. Let's go. Let's get it out. Hopefully we can get it out in one go. Looking terrible. That is absolutely looking terrible. All right. Garnish that with a bit of parsley, bit of extra chili. my beautiful tomato we'll just flour try to flour it like so oh look at that okay I'll just take a photo of that prep pepper of that okay so that's KC's red, what is it? Red velvet milk stout omelette with tomato, onion, chili. Ready in what? How long has that taken? Oh, that's taken about 10 minutes. So enjoy that with this beautiful beer. Having a stout with an omelette. How about that? That's a way to start a breakfast. Let's give it a taste, hey? Just stop this one because don't need that going no more. We'll break a bit of that away. Mmm, pop. I don't think it's held together well because of the beer. Maybe the milk. The milk in the beer, well, they've probably got that much milk in it, but then, I don't know. It's made it sort of curdle a bit, more like turned it to scrambled. But it does taste edible. It's edible. Like I said, man, this is all experimenting. So. That's all right, that tastes good. The cheesiness, the spicy and the hotness from the chili, the, you know, the um, sweetness from those little cherry tomatoes, the sweetness from, the sweetness and the roasted malt and raspberry from that beautiful beer um, I'm gonna have to I'll give these a rating for you so from the local brewing co their red velvet milk stout at four and a half percent the can love it the beer it's not it's not a it's not like a stout where it's a heavy creamy smooth stout Um, I'll give it I'll give it two and a half out of five it's average the omelette it's fucking fantastic doesn't look too good but it tastes fucking absolutely beautiful and you can make an omelette at home anyone can make an omelette really all you need is an egg a bit of water 
and then you just put it in the fry pan, let it set, flip it over on top of itself, either in half, or you can do it how I did and try to do one little quarter and then flip the other quarter, third over on top of it. But it's easy. And then you can just add whatever you want to it, really. That is fantastic. Late night snack, morning breakfast, dinner, no burnt bits. That's just flavour, personified. So that on looks doesn't look that good. Taste beautiful. Only took ten minutes or so to cook. So I'll give that. I'll give that. I just go three out of five for that omelet. Because it didn't look so good on the plate, it probably might turn you off. But it tasted good, believe me. So thanks for joining me for another KC cooking with KC. That is. Um, as usual, there's not much to send on this, but we'll fucking send it anyway. So get out there, support your local breweries, whether they're in Sydney, Victoria, or Queensland, or Western Australia, or South Australia, or wherever you can get them. And until next time, send it.